One, two, three. I want you to break your speed up. See how my bass stays wide? One, two, yep. The better you get, the more volume you can do. Yep. Wide, quick. Championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh my God. Love. What's up, everybody? It's Phil Handy. I want to welcome you guys to my YouTube page. Get that work in. I've had a lot of people ask me about the 94 feet of game ladder exercises. This segment today, I want to kind of walk everybody through what I call my ladder drills. Again, you can do these at home. It doesn't have to be outside. It doesn't have to be in a gym. It doesn't have to be at a court. But I will say this, if you are doing this at home, make sure you ask your parents if it's okay for you to dribble in the house. I don't want anybody blaming Coach Phil for dribbling in the house, in the living room. All right, let's make sure we get that cleared up first. So the first one, ladders. Ladders are what we call from going from one to five or one to 10. So I want everybody to understand, the better you get, the more volume you can do. Okay, so as you get in better shape, going from one to 10 would be prime. That's what I want everybody to try to work to. First off, let's talk about the base. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about, coach, why do you teach a wide base and how wide should my base be? Okay, so wide base for me with ball handling should replicate almost like a defensive stance. Okay, you have to be in a pretty good athletic stance to be a good defender. Same thing with ball handling. So if my base is too narrow, okay, to handle the basketball, the first thing I'm gonna have to do is bend over, right? So we wanna eliminate you having to bend over. I always try to teach players, if my chest is out in front of my knees, that means I'm off balance, okay? You see how my balance is pulling me forward, okay? If I'm too wide, okay, now I'm too wide, I can't move, okay? Now I can't, I cannot be athletic and explode. So I wanna be able to find that balance, okay? Wide base. Now you see my stance here, just a little bit wider than my shoulders, my chest is not out. Now I can keep myself in a position to where either way I wanna move, okay? I'm active and I can move and I still have some power. We're gonna start with a simple dribble, okay? Just simple pounds. And what I'm gonna do is we call it a pound cross, okay? Just working on your crossovers, okay? So again, everybody notice when I'm dribbling the basketball, okay, as much as I can, I don't want my head to be here. So I'm gonna go from one to five and then back down from five to one. I'm gonna start with my right hand. So what does that look like? Pound, one, cross, okay? Now I'm gonna go to two. One, two, one, two, okay? Now I'm gonna go to three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna go to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna go to five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So you see what that sequence looks like. So now I'm gonna go backwards. Start with my left hand, same thing. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, one. Gets me right back to the beginning. Okay, so that's the very first one. We call that our pound cross. Now I'm gonna introduce one hand cross. Okay, same series. I'm gonna go one to five and then five to one. Okay, so my one hand cross will look just like this. Okay, that's one. Okay, so when I go to my one hand cross, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we go to five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we go from five to one. Same concept, right back in my stance. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, one. Again, you see how that ladder goes. One to five, five to one, okay? Now we start to progress it. Again, you can really unlock your mind. Yeah, I'm always encouraging parents, trainers, coaches, be creative, okay? So now we're gonna take what I call a pound, okay? We're gonna use a pound, which is a basic pound. 
and we're gonna go in between cross. Same thing, one to five, five to one. Okay, so what does that look like? One. So now in this drill, it's gonna stay in the same hand. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my right hand, okay? Pound. One. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. See that? Okay, our next one, one hand cross. Okay, one hand cross, same concept, in between cross. Really good burnout, okay? Again, everything we do with our right, we do with our left, okay? So we'll start right hand, go one to five, start left hand, go five to one, okay? So one hand cross, one, one, two, one, two, two, up, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, yep, mess up, keep going, three, four, and five, okay, one hand cross, in between cross, same thing, take it with your left hand, go five to one, okay, I want to talk about in between the legs, I think this is the most common dribble that people have questions about, well, coach, how do I get better at learning how to dribble in between my legs, okay, so there's a number of ways that we can build this up, beginners, even advanced, all right? So I wanna call what I call just in between the legs series, okay? Simple, okay? Simple, figure eight, you go back to being a kid, we talk about figure eight. So we'll use this one with the dribble and no dribbles because it's really important people understand dribbling in between the legs is really all about ball placement, okay? So if I'm trying to dribble in between my legs, okay? And I'm going in this position, nine times out of 10, that ball is gonna hit my leg. So we really just wanna learn how to be what I call the center drop, okay? That ball should bounce right in the center in between your legs so you can control it, okay? So here's a great drill for you. Same thing, we'll start with a pound. Pound, one. Pound, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, one two, three, four, five, okay? Take the same thing with your left hand. Remember, left hand, we go five to one. Now we can progress that in between the legs, okay? Now we'll go to what we call a dribble series. Same thing, we're keeping our feet locked in so you can understand just controlling your dribble, okay? So same thing with the pound. One, pick it up, okay? Same thing, one, two, one, two. Up, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now you notice when I dribble, my body doesn't turn, okay? I'm still in a position where I can attack my defender, okay? So again, this is part of why I teach wide base, okay? Give you a little break in between the reps, wide base. So if I turn here, okay, I can still attack, but look where my body position is versus if I'm here, now I can attack you. Okay, so we're at three. We'll pick up at four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, I want you to notice that my body does not do this. Okay, I'm controlling, staying in my stance. Part of the workout is we wanna let our legs burn. Okay, so your legs should burn. You should feel it. Okay, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, same thing. Take your left, five to one. So how do we progress our in-between leg series, okay? So we're gonna add what I call figure eights, okay? So same thing, we'll match our dribbles, okay? Our pounds with our in-between the legs. So how does that look? Again, our base stays the same. So one, 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 two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you see how that works. Again, we start with our left hand, five pounds, five figure eights, we go from five to one. So now we can start to progress this into what we call 
I call chops. Same thing. Use a ladder series to go on with to what I call the chops, which is now we start to teach ourselves how to go in between the legs without sacrificing our balance, right? So when we go in between the legs, I should never be here. Okay? You see this position here. Now I don't have the ability to change directions clean. Okay, because one lead leg. So if I go here and I want to change the direction, I have to cross over my body. I've lost speed. I've lost the ability to attack my defender, what I call very efficiently. So we want to keep ourselves in between the legs. Okay, you see how my base stays wide. Okay, again, I don't go to this position. Okay, I want to stay wide. So in between, we'll still use the pound system. Okay, pound one, pound two, pound three, pound four, pound five. Now we're just gonna go short, short, choppy steps. So what does that look like? One, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you see how I control my steps, control my base, not leaning forward, and I get active with the choppy steps, okay? That's how we build up to our ladder. Start with your left hand, five to one. Again, let's keep thinking about it. as you get better, as you get in better shape, let's keep increasing these numbers, okay? You can go to six, you can go to seven, eight. We wanna work our way all the way up to 10. Now we'll start advancing into what I call just some more advanced dribbles. Still basic, but we can just add a little bit to it. So front back series, okay? So we've learned how to go in between the legs now. Now let's look at our front back, okay? Front back dribble, some people call it a rocker, okay? I use the term front back because you start in the front, dribble to the back, and it ends up coming back to the front, okay? So front back, we're gonna use a pound system, same way, one, one, two, okay? See what that dribble looks like. Again, I'm not where, okay? Not off balance, my base still stays intact, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I don't want your dribbles to look like this. Okay? I want you to break your speed up. Everything I do is in rhythms of two. One, two, pause, one, two, watch, one. One, two, yep. Again, you see how I break that speed up. Now I'm working on my rhythm and timing of the game. So as you guys can tell, part one of the ladder series, we talked about what? Building up from basic, okay? Really basic, this is why it does not matter what your level is, okay? A lot of these drills are the same drills that we do every day, okay? Inside of our facility with guys that play in the NBA. So do not think that the drills are too basic. This is all about getting better, everyone. Okay? And the second piece to it, it's a great workout. Okay? So what is the ladder series about? It's about building muscles, it's about building up your conditioning, and it's about building up some endurance to be able to handle the basketball for longer periods of time. Okay, so the most important things are, be creative and push yourself. Okay, I demonstrated fairly slow today because I wanted everybody to be able to understand what's the purpose of the drills, what's the technique, what should it look like. If you can speed them up, by all means, speed them up, get out of your comfort zone, but do not, do not, I repeat, do not give up the details of what we're working on. Your base, your balance, okay? Keeping your head up, keeping your chest up so you can keep court vision, okay? The worst thing you guys can do is go through that whole ladder series with your head down. Can't see anything. I want all of you to understand what's the purpose of your dribble, okay? We wanna become better ball handlers, but we also wanna become better vision players. Keep visioning your teammates, okay? So we can always make the proper pass and make the right play. So with the ladder series, send us your videos, okay? I love seeing the content from everybody. I love seeing everybody work. Send us your vids, tag me in your vids, and you guys all know, 94 Feet of Game app, we show love to everybody. So let's all keep working.